Guys, and welcome back to another Toy Command video. So I finished it. Just look at it for a second. Look at that. So what is it? It's the new casework for the Musical Fidelity X10D. But this is now renamed the Toy Command X10D because there's going to be some big changes going on on this board here so let's take a look at the back of this cabinet so here we have the back of the cabinet there so this is a copper plate one millimeter thick and I haven't these are not the RCA plugs going in there I've got a whole load of parts coming tomorrow and I will reveal them in the coming days so this here it's got my it's gonna have the 12 volt DC socket in there and these are obviously the RCA plugs so let's take a look at the inside of the cabinet now so the inside of the cabinet has been totally shielded with copper foil tape now they've all had three layers of copper foil tape all over the inside. There we go. So first of all, what did we do? We made our chassis and then we cladded all around. Now in between the cladding and the chassis is a one millimeter silicon gasket all around front the sides and the back and the bottom and now you can see there I've got a little hole for the light now here is the light here there we go so the light is going into there let's take a look at the bottom of this cabinet so this is the base this is one of my silent bases I've fitted onto it and if you look at the feet the feet are made out of a rolling pin, thin slivers, and then I've drilled seven holes in it and I've filled them with silicon. Then I've sprayed it all black to look very So as you can see, the top has had two holes drilled out for the tubes to stick out. They're going to be higher so they'll stick up a bit more than this to help with heat dispersion and because there's no heat sink on here it will be uh, it will help with the heat dispersion through the top one comment I had is why are you upgrading power capacitors without upgrading the transformer well I am upgrading the transformer some people just don't listen to what I say this is going to have another separate box with a toroidal transformer in it so yes I'm definitely doing that so you may say why is the cabinet so large well a lot of the components on this board here are going to be some of them are going to be down here some of them are going to be down the sides because they're too large to fit on this board and they'll just be hooked over with wires to each seating there where the old capacitor was so we can then solder it on the underneath and it'll all be fine there's big changes to this board so these are going to be replaced these Panasonic FM capacitors these are really good caps but what I'm doing is I'm using those ones in the uh, monitor audio radius 90s and I'm going to be using oil capacitors on these full in oil I'm going to be changing these two caps here all these small caps here are going to be changed we're going to be changing the resistor at the back there we're going to be obviously not using these RCA plugs sockets or this DC socket it's all going to be hooked over with wires and soldered in 
one thing I forgot to say about this back plate is it's been lacquered. So it won't get any oxidisation going on there. And I drew these on by hand, as you can see. It's mine, who cares? And then I lacquered over the top. So nothing's coming off. So I really hope you like the build. Um, some of these jobs take a while. It's amazing what goes into it. I've paid a lot of attention to damping this cabinet so no resonance affects it. And um, yeah, I'm really pleased with the outcome. So I shall show you all of the all of the uh, the new parts that are arriving in the coming days from Hi-Fi Collective. So stay tuned for that. So all I've got to say is thanks for watching another Tweaker Man video. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to give this video a like. Don't forget to press that notification bell so you're notified each time I upload a new video. And thank you for watching, guys.